Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Cake Talk TV. I'm really excited that you're joining me here today to talk about this topic that I know is going to give you a lot of perspective on your cake business and really just shed a light on where you should really go to take your cake business to the next direction because I help tons of cake designers um, take their business to the next level. And as someone who's been in the personal development industry for years now, this has really helped me to know and navigate where I should go next. So I am Christina Norman and I own Aspen Charm Cakes and Pastries here in Denver, Colorado. I've been owning Aspen Charm for over five years and it's a business that I love. I love designing cakes just like you do. And I run Cake and Success where I help my cake designers have a book solid cake business, charge premium prices, really having my cake designers charge well above $1,000 for their cakes consistently. And um, that's what I love supporting and something I know you can completely do as well and really just having a cake business that you love to own and operate because I've been there to where you have a cake business and it just feels like things aren't just happening and you're just not really enjoying the business. So it's just really transforming your business so you can have a business that you love. That's how I love supporting my cake designers. And for today's topic, I want to talk about why there isn't one right way to grow your business. And I wanted to put this video out there because I, of course, share tons and tons of free resources to help cake designers grow their business and also paid resources as well. And there are other entrepreneurs just like me in this space where they are giving out free content as well and having you sign up for their courses and everything like that so you can grow your cake business. And I do want to point out that there isn't one exact way for you to grow your cake business. And the reason why I say this is because what works for myself in growing my cake business may or may not work for you, or your journey may be a little bit different than my journey has looked like. All entrepreneurs, all cake business owners have different journeys and a different path on the way to success. Um, some cake designers really just easily grow their cake business and um, it feels like um, they've reached success um, quickly when you really don't know what's happened behind the scenes, but some people um, grow their business fairly quickly. Some actually takes them a little bit longer for them to um, grow their success. And also different ways of marketing, advertising may work for different cake designers. And the reason why I say that is because um, in a lot of my communities, um, in my free Facebook group, some cake designers say that they don't do paid advertising or they don't use social media in a certain way to grow their cake business. While for me, that was a, a very important strategic strategy to grow my cake business. Now, we both have the same level of success or you know, income-wise and growth and everything, but we built our business in a different way. But I will say that in order to grow your cake business, you have to be willing and open to try different ways to grow your cake business. And if one way just isn't really working for you, you may need to try a different path or a different strategy to really grow your cake business and find what really works for you. When I started in my cake business, um, a lot of times social media was still like up and running and everything like that, but Instagram wasn't as booming as it currently is right now. So I didn't necessarily really rely on social media to grow my cake business. I relied heavily on paid advertising and also referrals, so word of mouth, to grow my cake business. While other cake business owners rely heavily on social media to um, get their bookings and really just relying on other sites to really grow their cake business. What I'm trying to say is you need to try different strategies for a little while and see if it's going to work for you. And what may work for me may not necessarily work for you. And your path is your journey that you need to stay on in your entrepreneurship and your cake business journey so you can really experience the growth that you want to have. That's kind of like why um, in a product that I sell, I have uh, 50 plus ways for you to make more money in your cake business. And actually, it's about 61 ways to make more money in your cake business. And 
I've actually done most of those ways to grow my cake business, but some ways just did not work for me. They It helped me make money at the time being, but it just didn't really resonate in terms of the way that I want to grow my cake business. While for other cake designers, it's a strategic strategy for them to grow and help them with their cake business. Um, it's just really, you want to try different things and see what works. Do you like this strategy? Do you like growing your cake business? Do you like selling this specific type of product? and continue to go on with it. That's the true path of entrepreneurship. It's not a straight line. It's going to be more like a kind of like a wavy line to where you're going to really experience and find what's going to work for you. And when you really own and recognize that, you're going to really uh, grow your business faster because you're just really understanding that you're just on your journey and your path. And lastly, the one thing that you do need to have in your business to have a successful business is the right mindset, the right money mindset, and the right successful mindset as well. If you're trying all these different ways to grow your cake business and it's not really working and you just are afraid to spend money, you are really penny pinching in every single area in your cake business or your life and you are worried that money's not going to come in. If you are saying, I'm gonna make this amount of money but I'm not gonna do anything to really reach the success that I want, you really need to examine your mindset because your mindset is really the only way that you're going to take your business anywhere. It's going to determine the direction that it's going. And a lot of times, if you don't know what your current money mindset or your success mindset is, all you need to do is look at your current results, and that will really determine what you think about yourself and your abilities to have success in the direction of your kick business. Um, I do a lot of mindset uh, belief work on my channel and all of my resources and a lot of times it can sound repetitive but I will promise you when you change your mindset and when you start to think and behave like a book solid cake business owner one who charges thousands of dollars for their cakes and you operate your cake business in that same way you will experience the success that you are destined to have. So I wanted to put this uh, little uh, tidbit out there um, just in case you feel like you're stuck or you're just really not experiencing the success that you want. You just really have to try on different things to find out what works best for you. So if you want all the access to my cake business library that has all of my resources to help you price your cakes, grow your business, marketing strategies, social media planners, um, cake planners for the entire year, then I urge you and I want you to click down below and get access to my free Cake of Success business library that has all of my amazing free resources for you to truly help grow your cake business to the next level. So make sure that you download and get access to my free business library. Um, it has so many free content. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below so I can really connect with you and just really just talk about business growth because it really does look different for every cake designer and that is 100% okay and is actually just what it is as long as you accept it. So I hope you love this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you next time on another episode of Cake Talk TV. Bye!